I think it's important to know your purpose before you get in to solving a problem because if you don't know what your objective is or what you're trying to do, then it's not going to be a successful problem solving. <laughs> and then the question at issue. Um, guys, this is really bad. I'm so sorry. Nope, you're totally fine. Mine is going to be the same or worse. <laughs> Anyways, um, question at issue, you're supposed to think about the problem. Like you've come up with your goal and objective, but now you have to think about the problem. Like, you know what you're trying to solve? Nope, that doesn't make sense. Uh, Do you understand, understand what you're trying to solve? This link that yeah, I like what's, what's the major question at point? Because mm -hmm. you could have several questions, but you're trying to like get down. Yeah, pinpoint it. Of course, information. You need information and facts to support the fact that there is a problem. Like you can't just say there's a problem, say there's a student and they're squinting at a book and you think oh oh my goodness maybe this person needs glasses but they're fine with everything else like it's only at books like they're fine looking at screens and stuff from far far away and it's just important to get all the evidence and data before you carry on agree a hundred percent Yes, that's a very great example. Thank you. <laughs> okay, is it my turn? Yes, you're four. Okay, um, four is interpretation and inference. Um, inference is a conclusion that we come to by analyzing information and an interpretation is like an inference from a specific point of view so um, two people might have the same facts but with different point of view um, and so I think it is important that we decipher um, our interpretation from what somebody is in or something is inferencing to find a conclusion that is like unified and unbiased um, I hope that made sense. <laughs> yeah, that yes, that was really great. Okay, no, it yeah, it is. I found it on Google, but that was my own words. <laughs> um. Uh. Next is sorry, I'm not picking my nose. It's my uh, nose ring. Um. Um. Next is uh five, which is concepts. Um, definitions, models, laws, theories, and principles. Um, and I said concepts are like ideas that help us organize the world. So like everything is kind of a concept and everything is like put in a category and how we understand a subject or something or understand and process information. Um, and then uh, like laws and principles are based off of concepts and how we define things. Um, and then for six, I had assumptions. Um, and so we build our thinking based off of assumptions. Um, it talked about axioms and presuppositions, um, which um, are things that we, uh, Think. Yeah, yeah there, there are things that we think or they're like biases. There are things that we like don't want to be or that we don't need to be proved. They're just like, they just are true or they just are what they are in our head um, without proof. Um, and then lastly, for me, I have implications and consequences. Um, implications are what we think of because of imp interpretations and inferences and then consequences are um, like actions that become of our interpretations and inferences. And I think, oh. oh, sorry. I think that was it. <laughs> the last one is point of view, perspective, 
perspectives, frame of reference, and orientation. So, like, uh, what Emily said about assumptions, axioms, and presuppositions, that's kind of what point of view is, and it's important to be aware of where you're coming from when you go into a situation to make sure that the biases that you do have aren't harmful to the problem or situation. You have to always keep an open mind and it's important to know your point of view. Yes. Hi. We did it, Elfie. Hi, sorry, I'm currently in the video call right now. <laughs> We're literally heading home. So uh, I don't want to be too loud. <laughs> <laughs>